Hi guys, it's Mac Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing the song Ya Pit or possibly Poison, one of the two, by the band Body Slam, who I have been reliably informed are a Thai version of American football, who most of you guys are probably not going to be aware of, but they are like the primo emo band with the twinkly guitars and the overwrought singing and the emotionally heartfelt lyrics, and so that is what I'm expecting from this band today, and if I don't get it, I'm going to be severely disappointed, but I will have to live with that. They sound absolutely nothing like American football, even slightly, but they are still very emo. I will say though, right, see the wee bit that they went into it? I'll go back to it. Right, hold on. The way that the drums are there and the kind of, I don't know, there's like a kind of laziness to the drums where it, and the instrumentation where a bit of kind of reverb on the guitars in the background that was very, very, like, what was the name of that album? It was very make-believe level Incubus. Like, the kind of, see like the bridges in like Pardon Me and Stella. Like that kind of thing. It was like, it had, it had like a, almost like any hip-hop vibe to it. So far... This is pretty jamming, pretty jamming. The best bit so far is the bass playing. Bass playing's phenomenal. Right, so the bit that I've just been into there, that's the bit that's quite kind of incubus. I'm getting Fallout Boy vibes for this. That chorus especially. See when they kicked into the kind of disco drum beat, it was because it is really, really emo, but it's also got the kind of like, let's get up and dance type thing happening. It was very Panic at a Disco Fallout Boy. I don't really have an issue with that. The thing that was strange about the chorus that I really liked was the singing didn't go aggressive as the music went aggressive, it went high pitched and back into the mix. Unusual, weird choice, I think I prefer it because I don't like, <sighs> harsh vocals can be really, really hit and miss and if you can't pull them off properly, just fucking sing, which is what they've done and that was great, yeah. So far this is, yeah. But I'm also, I'm really liking this wee bit though, the, the wee kind of, almost jazzy wee type bit that it comes into after the chorus. This is like, like it's just pretty sounding, it's really nice production. i 
Personally, I'm going to say right now that guitar did not that guitar solo did not need to be there. Did not need to be there. It was a guitar solo for the sake of a guitar guitar solo, and it was a good guitar solo. But not every song needs a solo, and this one didn't. It would have been better if it had been straight up. Let's just like keep on. It kind of I felt like it kind of broke up the rhythm quite a bit. When really you should have went from the chorus, high energy chorus, and then bang into this quiet bit where it's just going to be the singing and stuff that's taking the main stage and that would have been a better dynamic shift than having a solo in the middle. I'm not a huge fan of guitar solos at the best of times. I don't feel like they really particularly fit this type of music that well unless you've got like like the solo from Buddy, Buddy Holly level of iconic. I, listen, I'm aware that I'm probably in a minority so that's fine. <laughs> I know I'm picking a lot of holes in here. I'm actually quite enjoying the song. I do think that the song is, for the most part, just a bit of a fucking banger. If I was in the crowd during this, whilst I were playing it live, I'd be having a good time. But there is niggly things about it that I don't like. Like the addition of a guitar solo. The heavy, heavy auto-tune on the back and singing. It's a little bit distracting. When the guy's a pretty good singer, so he's obviously deliberately singing out a tune, to then use the auto-tune to drag it back in to give it that really heavy auto-tune effect on it. It's, it's a deliberately stylistic choice. They're not, it's not a case of the guy can't fucking sing in tune, they've used auto-tune to fix it. They've actively went out of their way to go and do that in the same way that Cher did. We believe. You know, it wasn't fucking good when she did it and it's not that good when he does it and it's distracting more than anything else. <laughs> That's frustrating because that song is an absolute bop. That's a, that's a good catchy wee number. I quite enjoyed that song. I, like, I, there was loads of that song that I thought was really, really good. And then there's just a couple of wee things that I'm like, that's some niggly annoyances that I would... It, didn't, it wasn't enough to ruin the song for me, but I'm just a bit kind of like... I wish that guitar solo hadn't been there. That's it. See if you took the guitar solo away. That song was banging. Also, what I was saying earlier on about how, like, I'll judge how emo it is. Ah, it's emo as fuck. Absolutely emo as fuck. Things that I liked about the song, right? One. The pre-chorus. I really liked the kind of weird, slightly lazy sounding jazz feel of it. The disco drum beat in the chorus. Banging. Chorus melody, still stuck in my head right now. We earworm. The song wasn't over. You are shitting me. I'm. <laughs> okay, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Like, wh why is that in there? It came back, I don't know why it came back in for like five seconds just to repeat like a tiny section of the chorus. I mean, it's a good chorus, but it's very, very, very strange. He here's a concession that I will make, right? And yeah, hear me out. Here's the problem with emo music at the moment, right? Is that there is actually no good emo bands 
at the moment. There's no current emo bands or like new emo bands that are coming out who are even a patch on any of the shit from 20 years ago. It's kind of interesting to me that if you're wanting good emo music like that, you're heading to Thailand. And then I also can understand that, especially since we've done a lot of kind of like Asian music on this channel, they're all about the technical ability and they're and they're all thrown in fucking crazy instrumentation, solos at the wazoo, etc. etc. I can understand that for Body Slam, they feel like they need to put a solo in there to showcase their ability to do that because I think there's probably a bit of pressure on them to kind of be like we're as good as everybody else type thing. My personal preference is dating back like 20 years to Western music where that shit wasn't happening. So that's just kind of me, but I can see why it's in there. And I will say, out of a lot of the fucking emo music that I've heard that's come out in the last like eight years, that's probably in the top 10. Comfortably. Comfortably in the top 10, in fact. Which is a fucking shame and it's a damning indictment on modern emo music. Guys, let me know in the comments below what did you think about that song? Did you like that song? Did you not like that song? Are you aware of the fact that the song is actually 12 years old and that I'm a fucking idiot who doesn't do any research and does not know what he's talking about? If so, let me know in the comments below. I've been Mark Abusi, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I will, after this, probably not see you next time.